How are y'all doing? Today we are live streaming from our apartment because although we were planning on going out, it turns out we are flying to Cusco in three hours. And so we don't have time to go wandering around and showing you Lima. Check out our apartment though. Hello, fancy apartment. Whoa, we look rich. Who's on the chat today? Who's on the chat today? Let us know where you're watching from and what you're up to. I am just configuring the tripod here. And then we will be off to the races. Ivana wants a redo of the Portuguese pronunciation challenge because I was the grand champion last week and she feels embarrassed. Kathleen Sabu says, can you do me a favor? Absolutely, buddy, let us know. Hello from Brazil, shout out. Oh, we've also got news on our next country. Unfortunately, we will not be returning to Brazil after Peru. That was obviously our plan, but we have been so graciously offered another month with the Wi-Fi artists. And so next month we will be going to Mexico da, 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 da. City. Dun, da, 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 Mexico City. Yeah, we've never been there before, we, so it should be exciting. Yeah, it should be exciting. And they're hooking us up with another apartment like this. Maybe we'll do a tour of the apartment right now because this place we're staying is obviously uh, super duper nice. This is our television area, nice couches. Ivana, show them the feature of the couch that is most greatly anticipated. Check this out. Oh my gosh, she's living like a queen right there we've got the balcony over here dun, 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 dun. so we're right on lima uh right on lima right on main street here in lima uh foggy day yet again today because this is how it is in lima this is like the main street here and then the ocean is just over there pretty nice shout out to portugal isaac is watching for portugal uh kitchen table ivana chilling big screen TV, we've been watching Netflix and sort of loving it. So this place has been uh, hooked up to us by the Wi-Fi artists. Kitchen over here with this island in the middle. Very, very nice. And so anyway, we will be with, uh, oh, we also got a laundry room. Two floors apartment. So we're going up the stairs to our bedroom and another small bathroom over here. So anyway, our place, my point is, our place is super duper nice. And we will be spending another month with the Wi-Fi artists in Mexico. Mexico City. I'm not sure if our place will be this fancy, less fancy, more fancy. We have gotten some Spanish lessons. <sighs> We've got some Spanish lessons here. We've been doing lots of fun stuff. And the point is, today we are going to Cusco. Like in three hours, we're flying to Cusco. So we don't have time to walk around Lima. We were gonna go down to the ocean with you guys, but it's not gonna Cusco happen. Cusco is probably the most touristy place in South America. Uh, certainly in Peru, probably in all of South America. Yeah, Machu Picchu so. is pretty world famous. I so we're spending so. something like a week in Machu Picchu? A week no, in Cusco? No. Well, around there, but we'll be going around. But there's lots to do around Cusco. Mm -hmm. So we'll be going to Machu Picchu, obviously. We're Cusco going to Rainbow really Mountain, cool. hopefully. There's some local experiences with indigenous people we can have. Should be pretty nice. Shout out to everybody. Uh, somebody was saying we're... Somebody, small villages. Small villages. Somebody was saying we're abandoning Brazil. And then someone replied back, they're not abandoning it. They were here for a long time. Anyway, we will be back in Brazil. We're looking to buy... Ivana and I are looking to buy an apartment somewhere. We're thinking Lima, but we're also thinking Sao Paulo. And I think if we get something in Sao Paulo in a more rough neighborhood, we can get good bank for our buck. <laughs> Being rough. And then maybe in five years it's not rough anymore, and then we're set. So we'll be back in Sao Paulo, uh, I'm sure, shortly. But our plan seems to be after Mexico City, we will go to Canada for the first time in three years. We'll go home for a month or three weeks or something. And then our idea is something like Bangladesh, Pakistan, Indonesia. Malaysia. with 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 some europe in there somewhere yeah so these are the things we're thinking of anyway today will be a simple live stream just hanging out with you guys hopefully we can get some questions going in the chat feel free to ask us some questions and um and uh we can hang out together maybe we'll put on some music and chill out maybe ivana will make some lukuma ice cream i don't know how oh i never made ice cream before 
<laughs> Dude, Lukuma is where it's at. So we've got some good experiences planned in Cusco. We will be doing some local experiences in like small villages with local people. Um, as well as eating some guinea pig, which is a common delicacy. Ivana looks oh, yeah. Peruvian. Cool. And also Brazilian. And, and also, also Brazilian. Indonesian and also Japanese, Asian, Korean. Uh, what else? Canadian. I could be Indian too. I could be Russian. <laughs> right? Ivana is Peruvian Brazilian. <laughs> we learned that um, tons of Chinese population in Peru, and because they've been here for so long, and because the Chinese people were brought over was only men, they've mixed into Peruvian society. So it's something like 20% of Peru has Chinese blood in them. Mm -hmm. So Ivana definitely looks Peruvian is my point. <laughs> Especially with her nice tan. Peru even had a Japanese dictator. Yeah, I heard a little bit about this and things did not go well for him in the end, I think is the story. But yes, they even had a, an Asian, Asian leader. That's right. There you have it, guys. So today we will hang out for an hour or two, but in, I guess in three hours, we're jumping on a plane. One hour flight to Cusco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's actually no way to get to Cusco other than flying. You can take a bus... Okay, there, like hours. but it's 21 hours bus. We're not into it, and there's no train going there. I was all in for a train over there, no train. but there was no train over there. So, we're flying to Lima, it'll be about like an hour and a half flight. I think when we land, we'll start filming. Flight. Maybe we can wander around and see what Cusco is all about. I guess it's a much smaller city. Peru's got 11 million oh, yeah, people. I mean, Lima's got 11 million, much more traditional. Um, it's not like modern, like Lima is more modern. I've been to Cusco before, but a long, 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 long time ago. So. That was pre jet lag warriors. Yeah. My mom has a question here. What do you find as the biggest challenges as vloggers? Oh gosh. Uh, check the windows on the plane when you're landing. It's kind of. Uh, one of the most coolest airports in the world. Ooh. Yeah, we heard that. We heard that, especially on the right side of the plane. Right side. Oh, I will be landing at night, though. I don't know. If we oh, can we're see landing anything. in the dark. Dark. It's but most really... of the flights are at night. But maybe we can still see. Oh, someone asked if we're gonna fly over the Nazca lines. Uh, I just learned about the Nazca lines. I'm not sure if we'll fly over it. If we can see it, we'll definitely get some footage of it. Nazca lines, to my understanding, are these like pictures drawn in the ground. So from the sky, you can see the image, but they were drawn thousands of years ago. And so the question is, why did they draw these pictures that could be seen from the sky before they could fly? Mm -hmm. And it's sort of mysterious and interesting that the natives drew this image. Nice, yeah. It's like patterns and stuff in the, in the dirt. What does it mean? Mysterious. So we've got three videos already filmed, uh, two more I should say, from our trip to Huacachina. We went to the desert and saw an oasis in the desert. Pretty yeah, exciting. Pretty cool. You guys saw the penguins we saw, which is pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, Carla, I think it's cheaper to fly at night. Also, it's super last minute. We were planning on uh, going to Cusco like next week, and then one thing led to another, and we said, let's just go tomorrow. So yesterday, we booked our ticket for today. Yeah. The nature of freestyle, freedom. I just booked our accommodation for tonight, just like five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, we just booked where we're gonna stay tonight. We did reach out to some tour groups, so we should do some uh, tours with a group and hopefully get some unique travel and, experiences. Uh, we'll Show be in Machu Picchu with the Wi-Fi artist group, so the crew will be all together, it'll be nice. Yeah, we'll be with the whole Wi-Fi artist crew, and we should be with most of them, most of them next month too, which is cool. Shout out to Uzbekistan. Shout out to Shakrezoda from hello. Uzbekistan, Central Asia. Uh, Carla says it's like going to Rio and not going to the gardens if you go to uh, not see the Nazca lines. Huh? We'll try for the Nazca lines. What do South American people think about the United States of America? I tell you what, we can ask the chat that. What do South American people think of USA? Yvonne, I know Ivana looks Peruvian, but she is not South American in the end. <laughs> but maybe we can ask the, the audience, what do South American people think of... What do South American people think from... Of USA. Maybe it's the simple stuff about how everything's bigger in USA, drive a truck, have a gun, and be American. Yeah. Stereotypical. Don't know. Don't know. Like, I know Canadian has... Pretty much good reputation in all of South America, I think. 
Canada is one of the best reputations in the world. People are saying, uh, come back to Brazil. We'll be back soon enough. Um, I am Brazilian and we don't think anything of USA, just the people are different. Fair enough. Yeah. Nothing too special. Canada is the one country where everybody I tell that I'm Canadian, like 90% of them say, oh, Canada's so great. <laughs> I go, really? Have you ever been? No, I've never been, but Canada's great. I say, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we feel lucky to be Canadian. <laughs> Ivana looks local in every South American country. I think it's true. Maybe not Argentina. Yeah, although they have uh, Asian populations there too. Do they have Asian population? All in the grocery stores on there are. <laughs> Yo, co convenience stores yep. globally are owned by Chinese people. How do they figure that out? They're very smart. Asian, not all. Asian, Asian people, yeah. It could be Korean, could be, yeah. yeah. Asian people own convenience stores. Interesting. Gre greetings from Lima. Shout out to Paul Cito. Oh, hello, Paul. Hopefully our um, Peruvian viewers can start to pick up. Whenever we go to a new country, the views go down. But that's okay, it's to be expected. And then next month it'll happen again. We go to Mexico. Oh, look at that. Oh, no English, Paulcito. No problem. Peace and love. Uh, bueno, buenos tardes. Buenos tardes. Buenos tardes. Who pronounces better? Oh gosh, Spanish challenge. Buenos tardes. Buenos tardes. <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst. Uh... Buenos tardes. <laughs> So there you have it guys, simple live stream today. We will hang out for an hour maybe. We, uh, like I said, are flying soon. We're sort of looking forward to uh, going back to Canada for a couple weeks. It's been three years. Yeah, we need out. credit cards. We, we, need need some, we need a way to get money. <laughs> yeah. uh, we need lots of... Ah, kabar? Kabar baik. Nurul. That's uh, Nurul Malaysian. Iman. Yeah, Malaysia. Yeah. Ifana pronounces Spanish much better. Ah. Oh yeah. Victor. <laughs> there you have it guys so what's our plan for Cusco we got 10 days in Cusco 10 days in Cusco this is my book Yvonne has done lots of work planning this trip out here you go that's a good idea show this this is our list of I don't things know to if do it's backwards on the screen <laughs> it might be oh is it backwards no 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 is my shirt can you read my shirt oh yeah it's backwards isn't it why is it backwards that's life Anyway, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days in Cusco. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Well, and then, we're not really counting the first and the last. So more like a week. Yeah. More like a week in Cusco, which means our talk, our first ever Jet Lag Warriors talk, has been postponed again. It was postponed till Tuesday, uh, then it's been postponed <laughs> again till next Wednesday. But we will be doing a talk to see if we can, you know, be talk givers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peru is the second biggest Japanese colony in South America. First, Brazil. The Ivana first is the first oh, Brazil. Japanese. Okay. Ivana is Peruvian. Ivana gets adopted by every country we go to. Except in Europe, probably. Except in Europe. <laughs> Except in Europe. Um, I could be Russian, though. Like Eastern Russian. Yeah. Vla Vladivostok. Especially, my name is Ivana. <laughs> Ivan is a very Russian name, but Weibo is not Russian. No. Clearly Indonesian name. Yeah. So let us know what you guys want to see us do in Mexico City. Have you guys been to Mexico City before? We have no idea what to expect. We know it's the biggest. Is Mexico City the biggest city in Mexico? Sounds like it. I think so. I think maybe in the in South. No, no, cannot be in South America. Mexico it's, is in North it's America. Sao is. Mexico is part of North America. You think of North America, you think USA That's and Canada. Right. Yeah. But Mexico is part of North America. Yeah. You're right. Carla's been three times. Carla, let us know what you liked about Mexico City and what you did not like about Mexico City. Because luckily, one of our friends here in Wi-Fi Artists is Mexican. So she will help us go around. We'll get some Mexico Spanish lessons. Mexico City is one of the biggest cities in the world. Uh, I guess so. Uh, should oh, be exciting. Maybe it's going to be... Different culture again. Different again. I'm excited to eat some tamales, man. The best Mexican food for me is tamales. 25 million people in Mexico? That is no joke. That is almost as big as Canada. Canada's like 37 million. Two thirds of the population. But even of Peru Canada. is like 30. Three. Yeah. But Mexico City is 25 million. Ah, Mexico City. One city. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The old ruins are a must. Yeah. Mexico City. 
Let us know your favorite Mexican food. Mexican food is some of some of the best food tacos, in the world. Tacos, fish tacos. Fish tacos. From um. Oh, hello from Afghanistan. Look at that. M. Fayaz oh, Zakel. Hello. I hope you're okay. Uh, maybe we picked up the viewer from Luke or someone or from Emma. Maybe. Afghanistan oh, viewer. Very I've nice. Never been there. Uh, oh yeah, true. They went to Iraq. True fact. I think Emma went to Kabul, no? And then he, she went everywhere in, in Iraq. Oh. Everywhere, all around. Oh, um, but Kabul is a cancer. Oh no. Wait. Emma didn't go there. No. Okay, my so. bad. Tacos was, are getting the most oh, votes. Oh, Al Pastor is very good. What's Al Pastor? It's like meat with uh, pineapple. Meat and pineapple in a taco? Yeah. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. Oh, for me, favorite Mexican food, tamales. Tamales is good. Too. Yvonne and I have been in Mexico before, but only for a week or two on a yeah. road trip, and we saw a guy on the side of the road selling tamales out of his trunk, and it was like That's the greatest uh, Francisco tamale. Because <laughs> you can call me Francisco tamale. We bought like 25 tamales off, and they were so good. Are you guys ready to get hit by the altitude? <gasps> oh, yeah. What should we do? Yeah, that's Any life. tips? We'll do some coco leaves. What, how high is Cusco? 3,000, 3,500 meters? Something, I don't know. I wonder why Steve speaks better Portuguese than Spanish. I realize that I speak the English version of, of Portuguese. For instance, uh, tar <laughs> afternoon in Spanish, tardis. But tardis. in, in, tardis. Buenas tardes. Tardes, okay, tardes. But the D is a D, tardis, tardes. But in Portuguese, you put tarji. But tarji. So you turn the D into a G in Portuguese. Okay. It's quite often the D turns to a G. Yeah. I realize that when I speak English, I do the same thing. Like if you're gonna say the word drink, I don't say drink, I say drink. <laughs> like a G, drink. I speak, drink. The, I speak the Portuguese version of English. <laughs> really? Or like drive. It should be drive, but I say drive. Yeah. This is the Portuguese version. Is it all Canadian of, uh, or just you? Good question. Do all Canadians speak the Portuguese version? I think some people do, some people don't. I prefer Portuguese sounding over Spanish. It sounds more... Natural to you. Yes, it comes more natural. <laughs> Portuguese at heart. Turn the D's to G's. Hey, you need to go to Portugal. Maybe our friend is going in August. So yeah, maybe, maybe we, we can go. sneak into Portugal for a month or something. That would be really exciting. I'd love to go to the Azores in Portugal. Mm -hmm. But... Take the what tablet? Sorosopil tablets before getting to high altitude. Oh, that's yeah. chlorophyll. No, a chlorophyll. Yeah, chlorophyll will kill you. Yeah, you can drink chlorophyll. Chlorophyll? Yeah. This is poison. What's the green thing in leaves? What is it called? Coco? No, the, what gives the leaves the green color? Oh, chlorophyll. Yeah. I was thinking of chloroform. <laughs> I don't think it kills you. It gives you oxygen. Uh, yeah, chlorophyll tablets will work. Yeah. They're pumped full of oxygen. I think we'll be fine. We've, we've been over 4,000 meters before um, in Argentina. Yeah, but then, that was when we were younger. <laughs> I might change now. You think we're old now? <laughs> I mean, we'll see. We have to go... Our bodies might change. We're not going to do any epic hiking, so we should be fine. Yeah. Maybe we'll get lightheaded. Ooh, put some cocoa leaves. Yeah, so, solo shipil tablets. Uh, in the drugstore. Oh, Carla, can we buy Carla, it here in Lima? Carla felt nothing and she's 52 years old. Oh. Although, Carla, are you Peruvian? Because Peruvian people have a natural adaptation to be better at high altitude. True. The native Peruvians, the Incas and stuff, they had a natural... Uh, they have a natural adaptation. Bigger lungs, but more blood, uh, oxygen in their blood mm -hmm. and stuff. Shout out to Adriana Batarji. Watching from Maryland, USA, since your visit in Brazil. Ah. Dude, the visit in Brazil was amazing, and we will go back because I love this place. I think Yvonne and I might buy an apartment in Sao Paulo. If anyone knows an apartment in Sao Paulo is for sale, that's a really nice apartment for really cheap, you call us. I even heard, our friend the other day was telling us that some apartments in Sao Paulo is actually cheaper than in Lima. Yeah, we were thinking of buying something in Lima, but uh, Sao Paulo seems like a better option. We can get a nice place in Sao Paulo. Then we can practice our Portuguesa. I can show you. Portuguese, not Portuguesa. Portuguese, Ivana. Portuguesa is. Ivana, speak like me. Portuguese. Portuguese. <laughs> oh, yeah, Portuguesa actually means Portuguese woman. Yeah. So I guess stop saying that. <laughs> Lima and Miraflores is really expensive. Yeah, we were yeah. looking into buying something here, but it's a little bit much. 
so I think um, I think Sao Paulo is the way to go. Hey, shout out to Kik Primo. Ah. How annoying is it? People saying, come back to Brazil. I love you too. <laughs> come back to Brazil. I don't want it. I like Brazil, so please. No problem. <laughs> it's a nice feeling when people want you to go back. Still, yeah. still the most commented, nice. still the most commented comment on our channel is come back to Pakistan. That's the most uh, usual comment. But yeah, but yeah no you. problem. Invite us back to Brazil. We'd like to come back. That means you guys like us. That means you like us, and I like I said, Ivana wants to live in Sao Paulo. Maybe we could live there. It's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, I could live in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is pretty nice. And we even just invest. Like you buy something there, you can come and go as you're traveling, and then eventually sell it later. Shout out to Sao Paulo, Ivana's favorite city in the past. Uh, I don't know, hundred cities or something. Try Pollo a la Braza. Oh, we just tried it recently. Pollo a la Braza. Pollo a la Braza. In Cantara. What is less in Cantara, please? In Cantara. Uh, well, you can live. We should do it in video. Better in but... Belo Horizonte. Where's Belo Horizonte? In uh, Minas Gerais. Minas Gerais. Yeah, we need to go there. We need to we go need there. To, we need to get. Uh, have you guys already tried Aji de Galinha? No. Oh my gosh, we need to make a vlog about Peruvian food. Yeah, we will, we will. We We're only gonna... tried Lomo de South Thailand and it's so good, we keep having it again and again. Yeah. That's the only food we've had so Lomo far. Lomo de uh, And Chifa food. But we need, we're gonna make a video about Peruvian food. Aji de Galinas, Pollo de South Thailand. Pollo a la Brasa. Pollo a la Brasa. Brasa? Brasa. Pollo a la Brasa. Hi, Steven Ivana. Shout out to my brother in the chat with the red logo beside his name. Hola, Chris. Long time, long time listener, first time caller. See. Si. <laughs> what about Malaysia? My mom says. Uh, Malaysia is nice too. I could live in Canada. We got to get some more money for Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia is a bit we more expensive. Up. We got to level up. <laughs> we should have a good experience. After Canada, we should have a good experience in Bangladesh and Pakistan. We've got the strategy. We've got the ideas. We should have a nice, uh, it would be good for our business in uh, Bangladesh and Pakistan. We've got all the ideas set and the Facebook will help boost our YouTube. So hopefully this year we can make some money and then we can maybe buy a place in Sao Paulo. This is our idea. Pakistan cannot wait for that. Hey, Sana. Ah, hello. How are you? Pakistan. I'm excited for that too. Yeah. September. That's our plan. Pakistan That's our plan. September. Yeah. And hopefully Bangladesh before that. We had some friends in Bangladesh, the Dodo Explorers. You guys might know their channel. And they did some really nice videos there. And so we will uh, follow their footsteps. They are trailblazers and we are following them. <laughs> I do feel like yeah. of all the Pakistan vlogs I have seen, I think Ivana and I were one of the first people to go there and really vlog it. We're not the first. Not the first, but uh, there's a lot of people doing it now because of the view, it's the country's so fun to be in and so safe and pleasant and the views are so good. It's quite nice for any yeah. sort of YouTube business. How about Brazil? I'm wondering. No, we're not, this certainly is not the first one. But somehow, you guys like us. <laughs> And the food, says Sana. Yeah, Pakistani food is nice. Oh, my stomach hungry. is still 50-50 on Pakistani food. My yeah. taste was like it, but my stomach is halfway in, halfway out. Oh yeah, we'll try definitely alpaca meat and kui in kui. Cusco. Because that's Cusco. the area where it's more common. Right. Yeah. Lima is actually... Lima is more seafood. Yeah, and it's not so... And Chinese food. Cultural. In well, terms of native... It's different, it's different than Cusco. It's more Cus like the Asian culture is more... You and just see it more here. and every big city sort of has big city culture. Yeah. There's a way to like live. Sao Paulo. Exactly. There's a way to live in a big city where it's a lot of modern stuff. It's yeah. not going to be traditional food as much. More food delivery and more like tall buildings and working and yeah. it's not as uh, traditional. So Cusco should be more of a uh, traditional, traditional city. A small village by the mountains, by the river. Should be nice. We'll see if we can get our Peruvian views up. Even if we don't get the best views in Peru, we're sort of okay with it because we're not spending much money and we're really f planning out our year. And we met a bunch of people. It's been so nice to chill with the Wi-Fi artists and meet a whole bunch of people because 
uh, everyone's different and doing their yeah. own thing. And then we all kind of come together for dinner or come together for some kind of experience, go to a show or something. And uh, it's been really nice having Ivana have some friends. I feel like <laughs> to only have How me... About you? <laughs> I, I just, I just mean to only have me as a friend. Well, that's a bit much. You need some lady friends, Ivana. You know, you need some people in your life that are not me. So anyway, it's been nice to have some people to hang out with. Ivana, Ivana makes dinner are you for everybody. A traditional dress? Yeah. Do you recognize this? Where is it from? Guess, guess, guess. Guess the country. I could participate guess in this game. Guess the game. country. I don't know the country either. Can I see? You don't remember this? Nope. Oh my gosh. Shout out to me. Uh, if I had to guess, I say Romania. <laughs> no, I, I got my Romanian. My Romanian shirt is the yellow one. Where? Uh, give me a give me a hint. Where where? where oh is my from? gosh! Give me I don't a, remember where it's, it's from, from. Asia. Is it? Wait, give me a, give me a continent. From Asia? Yeah, Nural got it. Malaysia. Steve forgot already. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay, from Malaysia. Uh, when will you come to Pakistan again? Okay, Miriam. Quick breakdown of what our plan roughly is. It's gonna be. From here, we're going to Mexico City, that's for sure. From Mexico City, we're going to Canada, that's for sure. Probably one month in each or so. Uh, and then from there, we want to go to Bangladesh because it's hard to get a passport. Uh, I should say it's hard to get a visa for Bangladesh and we can get it when we're in Canada. Got to go to the embassy and stuff. And then we do have some friends in Europe, potentially Portugal in August. If we're going to Europe, we'll have to go back to Romania and Serbia probably two weeks each or something. And then it will be Pakistan in September. So to answer your question, Pakistan in September is the idea. And then from there, Indonesia and Malaysia. Malaysia is open and we want to go right now, but uh, we will get there this year. It mm -hmm. seems to be opening again. It seems like COVID is finally done after three years. Which is interesting that 100 years ago when the pandemic hit, it was about three years. So despite all our modern medicine, it takes about three years to get through a pandemic. Isn't that right? Yeah. Shout out to pandemics. Poof. <laughs> Sao Paulo is such a city. Da, 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 da. Oh, Sao Paulo was 19 degrees today. Ooh, it's not so hot. Quite refreshing. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys again in Brazil. Yeah, we'll be back in Brazil. We didn't, um, we really loved it. We didn't have the best, we didn't make too much money. Also because it was January, but uh, we really liked Brazil. The people are so warm and friendly and open and everyone's just kind of yeah really really refreshing place very to be. receptive uh the pakistani mountain vlogs were so cool yo we're just doing our pakistani vlogs turning them into facebook videos right now and i'm just editing the ones from shimshal and i'm like man i want to go back to shimshal so bad shimshal pakistan was one of the most magical places i've ever been in my life and the views <laughs> yeah. the views were terrible and made no money up there but it doesn't matter that was just like such an amazing place the people there were so amazing they're just such hard people to deal with a tough climate and tough terrain and so friendly and i love shimshal i think shimshal pakistan is the most memorable place i've ever been ah really it's stuck in my head that place the people there are so rugged. The way all the, like beside the road, it's like one road basically. And beside the road's all stacked up rocks. Yeah. To block the animals on that road. It's so nice. It was so great. Yeah, it was very memorable. Anyway, I saw a comment from just me. I want to get to it. Um, uh, hey guys, what's up? Just saying, what's up the long face? Are you upset or just tired? Ivana is tired. <laughs> uh, so yesterday we had our first like rest day in a while. Uh, Thursday, Friday, we adventured all day, every day and did a whole bunch of stuff. Made three vlogs in two days. And uh, after one day of rest yesterday, in an hour or two hours, I should say, we are going to the airport to fly to Cusco. So right now we are really being jet lag warriors. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going for it all. Let's see who might fall asleep as soon as we get there. <laughs> we have the idea of getting off the plane and with the camera running and see if we can just kind of wander. Plus the altitudes might hit you. We've got altitude. Uh, go early to the airport. Our flight is at 4, so we should leave here at like... No, no, no. Our flight is at, at 7. Where do I get these numbers from? <laughs> We're gonna leave at 4. Maybe or get there... Sometimes I think six. I just make up stuff in my head sometimes. I really thought I was flying at 4. I think you said we're flying at 4. Yeah, you said it. You wanna say we're flying at 4. No, no, no. no you wanna say we're flying at 4. Anyway, we'll leave here at 4 or something like that. But, uh... We have the idea of getting off the plane in Cusco and just letting the camera run and see in our very first impressions. But we will see um, if that happens or if we're half asleep. 
Oh. Yo, these live streams just fly by half an hour already. Loving it, hanging out with you guys. It's really helpful to us to oh, have these live streams. Spanish lessons. Spanish lessons have been okay. Um, we learned like, the alphabet. We learned like greetings. Hola, they had some está? simple. They had some simple lessons that were quite helpful. Yeah. One of them was we did had to share the alphabet. So there's extra letters, by the way. There's extra letters in the Spanish alphabet. Oh yeah, like double. Like R. double L is considered one character. Yeah. Wow. Isn't it just two L's? Or like C H is one character. Isn't that C and H? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. They sound different. Or double R is yeah, but. Che and uh, what? But if you put letters together, they sound different. That's how letters work. It's like in English, P H makes an F sound. But pH is not a character, it's just pH. <laughs> anyway, in Spanish, like, um, they have a bunch of characters. Uh, and then what we did was we just named words that we knew in a group, which is really helpful. So like, hey, we start naming I'm A words and you just if, start thinking I'm in Spanish words. if in English, pH sounds like F, like face or, uh, or face. like phone. Uh, phone. Why does it spell pH? Why doesn't it have just, just uh, an F? These are things I can't answer. You know? Just how it is. <laughs> it would be easier with just an F. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I mean, is there a why or is it just how it is? Like, I don't know. I can't, I can't answer that. It's too hard. But anyway. Like uh, Philip? Philip, yeah. Or Steven. Steven with a PH, yeah. Yeah. That's more like a V in that one. Steven, not Stephen. Steven. But yours is V, not v. PH. Peace and peace and love. That's okay. the right way. Uh, the, the classic live stream question favorite country so far? Favorite country so far? Oh my goodness. Um, in terms of what though? Experience. Exactly. Same answer every Rich time. Rich experience. Uh, Pakistan was the biggest eye opener. Albania deserves a shout out. Malaysia is a place we probably live the most. Brazil is one of my favorites. I love Brazil so yeah. much. Uh, Romania deserves some shout out too. Romania was a surprise <laughs> that we did so good on YouTube. Like we had such a good. Yeah. We went on a road trip in Romania, it's supposed to be a two weeks road trip, ended up being like six weeks. We just kept driving around Romania, yeah. finding cool places to stay. It was the best time of year, it was like August, and it was like so nice. Yeah. Into September. And the food was really good too. And the people were super friendly, and the, the memories I were I just love the Romania. countryside of Romania. Same. Countryside. The castles, and the castles, and yeah. from the history of the castles to the history of the communist period, to the history of, uh, it's just interesting. The place is just so nice, and the people are so... Draculus. Dracula. <laughs> oh, people are recommending drink uh, leche de tigre, tiger milk. Oh, for? Just drink it. Okay, we'll so try it. So, do we know what tiger milk is yet? It's milk from a tiger. That explains it. Uh, are you going to try <laughs> ayahuasca? I think not. I am scared to try it. Would you be open to it? Uh. I would be open to it. I'm not, I don't think it's bad or anything. It's because I heard like stories, but. I don't think, oh. the reason I would want to do it is I'm in a different country, I don't speak the language. You know, <laughs> well, it's getting, the level of nervousness have, is so much higher. Someone who speaks English. Yeah, but if you're going to trick me and steal my camera, just give me some crazy, uh, you know, no, it, I would, you feel, would, I would feel so you vulnerable. You a reputation place. Or, a reputable place. Yeah. I just would feel so vulnerable that I can't make sense of anything and I'm, and I'm in a different land. It just would be too scary. <laughs> you know? Don't bring anything with you. Yeah, but then the stuff in the apartment, I'm gonna go, did I lock the door? I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna be so worried I didn't lock the door. The whole time I'm gonna be panicking, but I left the oven on. And you know what I mean? Like, it just would be too nerve wracking. It would just be, it, I think I would like it, you know? But I'm not against it. Like, I have a friend who did it and said it was pretty wild. But, uh, Just Me says you still need to come back to Romania. Yo, we, oh, need, yeah. we need to go back to Vamaveke and oh my just, God. and we just party. We need to come party. back to all the countries that we've been to. <laughs> No, all of them. Some of them are okay. Some of them are eh. like Dubai. Okay. Oh, okay. oh yeah, but we probably will go there for an airport transfer at some. We'll point. probably transfer through Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Dubai, Dubai was okay. Montenegro was okay, although I still think Qatar is the most beautiful city. Uh, the most beautiful place is actually the Fourteen Colors Mountain in Argentina. Maybe That's right. why I'm like, I saw pictures of the Rainbow Mountain in Peru. I'm like, uh, will it top yeah, the 14 color colors mountain, mountain in Argentina? It was really something. It, Either that or uh, Pasu Cones in Pakistan. Pasu Cones in Pakistan. Or Lake Louise in Canada. Yeah. Lake Louise is but, pretty special. Yeah. Or Those Moraine Lake. not very memorable. 
memorable to me. Like the most memorable one is the Fortnite colors one. I think you're right about that. Yeah, the the place that makes that made my jaw drop. Is 14 colors. Doesn't even mountain. look real. In yeah, Argentina. Yeah, yeah. And there was like nobody there. We weren't the only one. That's why we were like, oh my God. We were like, like uh, little humans in a big, humongous uh, nature. Good comment here. Come to Pozos de Caldas. What is that? Pronunciation nailed it. Pozos de Caldas. A city. Uh, a city in a volcano crater. What? Where? In Peru? Must be in Peru, I guess. Uh, waterfalls. Farms of olives, oh. coffee farms. Pozos is one of the best, has one of the best olive oils, uh, artisanal beers sold. No, but really, that's not interesting. A city oh. in the volcano crater. I think it's in Minas Gerais. Oh, it's in Minas. Oh, right? Boy. It's in Brazil. Yeah. We gotta go back to Brazil. Pocos they called us. Remember that place. Pocos they called us. Okay. Uh, be fun. <laughs> Might remember for six minutes. <laughs> I think we should. Um, I think we're actually gonna buy an apartment in Sao Paulo. And then when we're not there, we will Airbnb it. Yeah. It's a good idea. Might happen. And you just live there three months, <laughs> three months a year. Uh, just me, how many days in Lima? How many days in Cusco? We'll go to Cusco for something like nine days. Uh, and yes, we are flying from here to uh, 11,000 feet. So like 3,500 meters. No, 3,000, yeah, something like that. And then back to Lima for our speech, which has been postponed again. And also Next for the football Wednesday. game. And oh, yo, on March 29th, <coughs> Peru is facing Paraguay in World Cup qualifiers. It's the most amazing coincidence. It's match 18 of 18 matches. So it's the last match. And it could be a scenario, depending on what happens on March 24th when Peru plays Uruguay, uh, it could be a scenario where if Peru wins, they're in the World Cup. But hopefully we're gonna get tickets to the game because it's not on sale. It's not on yet. sale yet. It's gonna be hard to get tickets, but we do have a local friend who you guys saw in our videos, uh, Diana and Marcelo, and they are gonna work on it for us and with us. Yeah. So hopefully we can get to go to that game because that would be so electric. And Peru is facing Paraguay, which is the team at the bottom of the bracket. So it's likely Peru will win, and it could be a scenario where if they win, it's gonna be massive celebration. Yeah. So, I think if, even if, super excited for that. Even if we don't get tickets for the game, I heard that there will be yes. parties everywhere on the street yep. here in Miraflores. Even if we don't get tickets, we'll do a vlog about it. And it'll be a scenario where, it's a really nice scenario where it's super fun to make the vlog and it probably will do well on YouTube. That's when the, the job is the best. When you're enjoying making the yeah. vlog and it does well. Because a lot of vlogs, like I said earlier about Shimshaw, we enjoy making it so much, but nobody wants to see it. So uh, that will be a scenario where we're gonna have so much fun and we're gonna have such a blast and then it should be our most popular approved vlog to be honest especially if they qualify and then we'll watch the game stay up online editing and post it right in the morning be the first one to hit YouTube that'll be super exciting so fingers crossed we can get tickets for Peru Paraguay March 29 that'll be something incredible mm -hmm. this is circled on the calendar uh, what are you looking forward to more? Machu Picchu? You've already seen Machu Picchu. I've seen Machu Picchu. See, I've never seen Machu Picchu. So I still think Machu Picchu is more important than a soccer but, game. But um, soccer game is important. I'm excited to, uh, for Steve to see Machu Picchu because you love history. So you like the place, I think. Yeah. I Although it's a super touristy place, but I think it's one of those places that you must see. So good question from Tiago. What are you thinking about safety in Peru so far? So super our safe. first impressions was just profoundly safe. Yeah. The thing is, the place we're staying in Lima is the safest place or like one of the most fanciest places yeah. in lima and evidently um when you leave our neighborhood and go around it could be like if you look at the crime rate according to like the statistics it's not overly safe but the place we are is so incredibly safe and we're not really um like we're not the type of vlogger who's trying to go and do like investigative journalism we're just showing what a tourist might get up to so uh for us it's been profoundly safe like like no danger at all. We've seen yeah. no homeless people. We've seen no graffiti. We've seen no drug use yeah. or anything. It's totally like, like, uh, I feel safer here somewhat than when I was in Brazil. And also our friends just came from, uh, from the Wi-Fi artist group. They just came from Medellin, Colombia. They also feel safer here. Right. Uh, than in Medellin. Now we did learn something that we didn't know about called the wall of shame. Evidently in Lima somewhere, there's a huge wall that they built to block like poor people from coming in. There's like one doorway and there's like the army there. And the poor people have to have a reason to come 
So well, I think it sounds. By the highway, we pass by it. Yeah, it sounds bad, and it sounds like sad or like not know what to make of it. But we're not gonna go there and make a vlog about it because it's not really our style. We're just gonna show what a tourist might get up to. So you're in Lima, you know, have showing the good parts of Lima and showing what's n n tourist attractions, history and stuff, and then go to Cusco and do uh, Machu Picchu vlogs, food yeah, vlogs, thing, football okay. vlogs, more just uh, what we might get up to. Oh, we got Kathleen having a history challenge, <laughs> and Muhammad Ali got it right, maybe. Some question about 1943. I live in Marcia in Rio. I live with my husband and our dogs. Uh, we love your Brazilian trip, and we're already missing you guys walking around. Sorry, bad English. Uh, man, I love people that say bad English, and their English seems to be perfect. So yeah. shout out to Renato. Uh, thanks for watching. We should be back in Brazil. As we've said in this live stream, we're probably maybe going to buy something in... Sao Paulo. We quite like Sao Paulo City. Plus, it's a good home base for us. Not too far from Canada, and we can go around South America. Uh, we might be getting something in Sao Paulo, but we see. I mean, we don't know what we're doing, but we see. But shout out to Brazil. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, they said don't go to the Wall of Shame. They said the Wall of Shame is not right for tourists to go. Yeah, we have no no business being there. Do you like Carapulcra? Carapulcra, do you know what that is? I don't know. Don't know if I like it, because I don't know what it is, to be honest. Are you planning on going to New Zealand? Uh, not exactly. Vasco, Vasco, Vasco. <laughs> Vai Vasco, pa caramba. <laughs> the best. Bye, Vasco. Uh, New Zealand would be nice. I mean, I don't know much about it. Have no reason to not go. We don't dislike it, but it's just so far out of the way from everything else that we probably won't make it anytime soon. I think of New Zealand in the same way I think of uh, Canada. Like Australia is a big one that everyone knows, and New Zealand is a smaller version. Mm. Canada, the way Canada is to U.S., New Zealand is to Australia. That would be my that would be my guess. Did you guys already learn some Spanish words? Yeah, we learned a little bit of Spanish, but not much. We're basic. And the thing is, in Lima, a lot of English spoken. Yeah, that's true. Lots of people speak English here, so we don't really need to like converse in Spanish. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'd rather learn Portuguese. I think the next language I'll learn is Portuguese. I am working on learning a language in secret that I have not told anyone about, and it's going slowly, but it is going. I can make some sentences. <laughs> It's going slowly, but it's going. Mm -hmm. I think what I'll do is a long-term goal. When I learn my first language, okay, I'm gonna use that language to learn Portuguese. You know wow. what I'm saying? So I'll learn Portuguese from the new language I just learned. <laughs> That's my idea. But this is a long-term goal. This is one of those things you dream up and you go, I gotta learn the first language first. But uh, one of the goals, one of the long-term goals. What a nice live stream. These live streams on Sundays are so great, guys. We just hang out with you guys and sort of do editing. I edited three Facebook videos this morning. Mm, high five. Good job. So we're set for Facebook for the week, and we've got two YouTube videos that need to be edited for this week. And then we're going to shoot a bunch of stuff in Cusco. I wish we had a drone, although evidently you cannot fly a drone near Machu Picchu at all. In Machu Picchu, yeah. And even near it. You can't fly anywhere around. So it's not the end of the world, but that's one of the reasons we'll go back to Canada and get droned up get droned up but yo we are actually really enjoying traveling with wi-fi artists we were sort of nervous to travel with a group because you gotta have to do things as a group as the old saying goes uh faster alone but further together mm. you heard that before good one it's a good one so it is a little bit uh you know it's you've got to be with people and everyone has to go to dinner together and it takes so long to order and you got to kind of be slow with people but the experience for us has been pretty nice because uh, it's been nice to make friends. Like we have friends over in our kitchen that you guys saw, and Ivana makes dinner, and we all eat together. And it's like, oh, so nice to have friends. I haven't had friends for three years. You know what I mean? We haven't really had friends other than each other. It's wild. But uh, yeah, so they invited us to come to Mexico City. We only have each other. All I need is you, baby. But um, we they invited us to go to Mexico City, and we said okay. So we'll go to Mexico City with them. Yeah. Which is pretty exciting for us. And then from there, go to Canada. Kind of perfect too, it's on our way. We'll go here, we'll go up north, go there, and fly home. Yeah. It's pretty great. 
So, oh, people are writing, lonely Steve. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I think both of us get a little bit lonely, but uh, there's good parts to the life too, so it goes. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Check out Chris Lewis for Pakistan Vlogs. Super American, nice guy who has learned a decent level of Urdu. Just started his second series in uh, Pakistan. I never heard of him, Chris Lewis. Usually I know most of the travel vloggers, especially if he speaks Urdu, he's probably got huge uh, mm -hmm. views and everything because I'm sure Pakistani people would love to see uh, American guys speaking Urdu. Uh, after all your traveling, what tips can you give for new travelers? Uh, depends on the type of travel you're doing. If you want to go like long-term travel, it's totally different than short-term. Uh, bring cash everywhere. Bring cash on hand. <laughs> bring twice as much you know, money I, and half as much clothes. The first time we got to Peru, we didn't have any cash. It's because we've been traveling for so long, we didn't think about those stuff, you know? When I, I just started traveling, I always make sure I have cash on hand. Like, I exchange the currency before I go out of the country. I used to do that and then now we've been traveling for so long we just go to a new country and then we um, get money from the ATM machine usually it works except in Peru and it just happened that our cards got hacked so it's a it's a bit double, of a comedy of errors yeah double whammy double double of a series of unfortunate events so series of unfortunate never events. happened before in any other country so um, that's why we didn't think of bringing extra cash or bringing, you know. Yeah, all yeah. good. We've been travel, traveling a lot. Brazil and Peru. Brazil versus Peru in your, from your perspective. I'm watching from Boston, Massachusetts. Keep doing a great job. Thanks. Just Me says you have 150,000 friends. Ah. Boom! We're so friendly. Um, <laughs> Peru. Good one. <laughs> so, what's your differences you notice from Peru to Brazil? Brazil is obviously way bigger and has way, way more bigger. diverse people group, but more black people in Brazil. So, you get a lot more culture from Japanese, Afro Brazilian, European, yeah. native. And it's Peru. all kind of. Peru is more indigenous. Peru is Rich. mostly indigenous. Also, Which we haven't. We'll see more when we get to Cusco. And Fair. Mexico. Also, we haven't seen too much of Peru yet. We've spent two weeks in the fancy part of the capital. So we don't necessarily know. The thing about Brazil is we just jumped right into it. We, we just stayed right in Sao Paulo and just went right to downtown first day and wandered yeah. through like the homelessness and stuff. I don't even like, know how we decided stuff. to go to Brazil. Boom. <laughs> That's kind of the right way to travel though. That would be my advice for travelers. Just go and do it. You don't have to plan too much. You got to plan where to stay. But once you're there, you don't have to plan every meal and what you're going to eat and what you're going to do. Just wander around a little bit. Don't wander yeah. in the, the ghetto, the, the dangerous parts. But providing you know it's safe, just kind of wander around. It's nice to find a restaurant randomly and find a... You just stumble into a museum you didn't even know that was there. Yeah. Off the beaten path. Plan to not plan so much. You know? Go with the flow. Plan the big picture, but don't plan the details. You know? Right. Like where you're going to eat and what you're going to eat. And, you know, what time you're going to eat. Just Your go plan will change. Plan will change. Yeah. Be flexible. <laughs> but it's funny in Brazil, we just we just landed in Sao Paulo and right to first day downtown, right into the thick of it. And so we were like, oh my gosh, you know? And then in Peru, we've kind of done the opposite. We came to the fancy part and we're kind of going slow. So maybe you can stay tuned for a better Peru uh, Brazil comparison. But so far, so good overall in Peru. Not a bad live stream, Ivana. Hanging out with our friends here in the live stream. Can't wait to see you both in Mississauga from my mom. Yeah, we'll be back soon enough, mom. Ready to eat some. What food did my mom make? What, what could be a, a nice food you could think of? Oh, lasagna. Steak on the barbecue. Oh, that would be nice. I love your mom's lasagna. Good lasagna, or past the salad with the uh, cherry tomatoes. Or the dips with nachos. Ooh, seven layer dip. We can make that <laughs> on the first day. Seven layer dip. Look, mom, I'm on TV. Ha, ah, look, mom, I'm on TV. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. All right, there you have it, guys. 50 minutes live stream on a lazy Sunday. Thank you to some super chats we got. 
Thank you to everybody for joining. Anything yeah. you want to add? Anything? You, why don't you end off the live show, Ivana, with one message, a parting message that really hits home, something really poetic. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Spread love. Spread love <laughs> and peanut butter. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Simple live stream today because we got a pack now. We got a pack. I mean, and when I when I say we, it's mostly me. Amen. I'm gonna go fly kites. Wee. All right, see you guys. Uh, more Peru stuff coming. Thank you, guys. And uh, then Mexico City. Later, guys. Thanks again.